Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last episode, we participated in the Festival of the Hunt and well, we did terribly, intentionally terribly but terrible nonetheless, but we did get the Coral Ring which is pretty good for Freya. And we have also came here to uh, the Cruise Marsh and we have recruited Quina, who is going to be our team's uh, blue mage and I can't say I'm really too excited about that because Quina isn't really the greatest of characters. Well, she can be user right, but I've never been a fan of blue mages, so you're not going to see much of her during this playthrough, but she is there. Anyways, we now have to get up here so we can get over here to uh, Burmesia, but before we do that, I actually want to go over here to the Chocobo Forest because there's a lot of fun to be had there at the Chocobo Forest and I'm not passing up on that opportunity, so let's get going, shall we? Am I even going the right way? Yeah, I am. There's the bridge. All right. It's hard to tell sometimes because of the mist, you know. The mist is very thick and makes it hard to see. But we got a battle. And we are going to experiment with uh, uh, Quinna and have her eat a few things. Like these things. Or we can kill it. That, that works. Alright, you eat. And let's steal from it. We don't want to kill it. Oh, I learned Vanish. Good job. Good job, Quina. It's amazing, though, how Quina can just eat things. That won't work on bosses, though. You can't eat bosses. Alright. Yeah, I'm not passing up an opportunity to go to the Trouble Force. I love this place. Oh, battle time. I mean, I'm gonna eat, though, whatever comes my way. Hello! Oh, you know, you teach me way win, don't you? Oh, I definitely have to eat you then, if that's the case. Alright, let's steal it. I don't know how much health it has. I don't want to do too much damage to it. Uh, Vivi, you can attack. I'm kind of questioning if, yeah, you know what, Freya can attack, sir, and you should eat. And you steal, we are not killing it. Oh, it must be a pretty tough enemy, alright. Flame, oh no! Don't be doing that! I changed my mind, let's get the hell out of here! Holy hell! You know what? I'll stay and fight. Oh god. I may have made a mistake actually deciding to stay and fight. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'm still okay. I'm right. Alright. Wizard, jump. I gotta kill it. I just have to kill it. I can't eat it now because Quinn is dead. I'll bring Quinn back after the battle. Again, something like just so I shouldn't be wasting too much time in uh, recovery mode. Oh, there goes Vivi. Hang on you, uh, Freya. Good job. I'll try and eat that later. I'm pretty sure that thing teaches me white, white wind, which is a pretty good uh, recovery skill. Oh yeah, we took a lot of damage. Oof. Sorting my items. And well, we at least made it here to the Chocobo Forest, right? Oh, Mugo and Chocobo. Hi, guys! Kupo! I'm Many, master of this forest. This Chocobo is my friend, Kupo. His name is Choco. Kwe! And this is... The Chocobo's Forest. Or home of only one chocobo. Hey, did a cute girl with long hair come by here? No, but ugly girl came by here. You might be thinking about different people. I'm guessing he means uh, Queen Braun was here. Oh, I guess she didn't come this way. Maybe she's heading toward Bermesia after all. I better get moving then. You in a hurry, Kupo? Uh, yeah, sort of. Then take Choco. You won't run into monsters if you ride Choco. 
Monsters are afraid of Choco. Choco, come here. It's okay, don't force him. No, if Choco hits, Choco runs away. Choco, come on, Koopo. Quit! Well, there you go, I think he does hate. Fine, I'll just get to the point, Koopo. These are Geisho Greens. You can call Choco outside the forest with these. Find Choco Footprints near the forest, Koopo. Use Geisho Greens there, and Choco will come. Well, at least you don't have to fight them like you did in Final Fantasy VII. Choco likes you, Koopo. You call and he'll come. Please train Choco, make him strong. Come back to this forest after you call him in the world. Uh, I'll tell you a big secret, Koopo. Alright, I guess I'll be back in a bit then. I gotta go uh, get Choco. Alright, there should be footprints not too far from here. Right there. Alright. So we use Geisho Greens. Quay! Hey, Choco! We're going back. Chobo Forest is the only place you can enter with Chobo. Oh, wait, no, I tell a lie. There's also the sanctuary. Choco, how are you, Koopo? Quay! Hey, what up? What's this big secret? Welcome back, Koopo. I knew you'd get along with Choco, Koopo. Did you know, Koopo? Once Choco chooses its master, it follows him forever. Choco ran away from his last master. That guy was mean. Choco didn't like him, Koopo. I helped Choco escape. Now we're living together, Koopo. And here's the thing, Koopo. Choco has the ability to seek out treasures and items hidden underground. But I can't ride Choco Bows. Will you help me, Koopo? 60 gil per game, and you keep all the items Choco digs up. Okay. I'll let you use Choco's ability for 60 gil per minute. Okay, I'll try now. Let's give it a try. Alright, move Choco with a directional pad and square with dig. I, I don't even know how this game works, yeah. It's uh, Choco hot and cold. Alright, let's uh, begin. So, you dig with square, Choco makes a sound like a que, and when you get question marks like that, you're getting closer, and when it's like that, you're very close, and you're moving far away, you just have to find wherever the, uh, where the treasure is, using uh, Choco's uh, clues like that. Found it! And from here, you just rapidly push that square to dig it out, and we got an antidote, and we got... Oh, I'm near something else. It's around somewhere. Found it! Hey, Echo Screen! I got two items! Oh, I'm near something else. Kinda. D d around here. Somewheres. What if I'm standing on it? Oh, found it! Eye drops! Now we gotta find another one. I have 14 seconds. No worries, I have not going to be finding any more treasure, I don't think. Yeah, because I don't really know where to dig right now. I'm kind of lost. Oh, I got three items. Not bad, right? And time up. Hey, we did pretty good. I'm gonna try again. I don't plan this whole episode being uh, Chobo Hot and Cold. Just be prepared that it, it might be, okay? Oh, this way? Oh, I found it. Oh, this is a deep one. A lot of digging. Hey, Phoenix Pinion! I got two points for that! Good job! Sometimes you do really good, uh, you'll get uh, some time added on. Oh, another deep one. Come on, Choco, you can do it! I believe in you! Hey, 5,000 gil! And your beak leveled up. Good job, Choco! This one's also really deep. Oh, I hope I have enough time to dig it out. Time's getting scary. Hey, we got a stone with pictures and our beak leveled up. Twice. Oh, we're doing great. Choco, you're doing awesome. And we're out of time. Phoenix Pinion, some gill, and stone with patterns. That was pretty good. What's this stone with patterns? Can I see Koopo? There's a picture of some location on a stone, Koopo. This place must have tons of treasures. Why don't you go over the forest and look for this place, Koopo? It's free of charge, of course. 
Go outside and press a uh, triangle while you're running on Choco and choose which stone you want to find, Koopo. And you can dig with square. Okay, sounds like a good idea. I got an idea, Koopo. Let's call the stone Choco Graph from now on. I like that. I like that name. I think Choco has been searching for something all his life. There must be tons of treasures, Koopo. You might find some cards, so you should leave some room for your card inventory, Koopo. Okay. And yeah, when you leave, yeah, Choco comes with ya. So we push triangle while we're riding on Choco. Open the Choco graph. And Steam side. I know where that one is. So we're going to be showing a picture. It will stay on uh, your mini map. And you have to find that location and dig it up. Now we know where that location is. I think it's on. It might be on the other side of the bridge, but it's down here ish. Yeah, it's on the other side of the bridge, but that this is pretty much where it is. Oh, I found it. Found a treasure chest. What's inside? Two elixirs, three high potions, four ethers, and two Germinus boots. Thank you. I'm going back in here. I want to do one more round of hot and cold, okay? And then we'll pre proceed with, uh, you know, story things. Oh yeah, and those boots that we found, uh, can be equipped. Uh, not giving it to Freya. Uh, you could y not really use it to learn anything, but you can put it on. You can. And... Yeah, I'll give it to BB. Give him something. Give him a little bit more speed and evasion. Or, sorry, not speed, strength. Now, here's the thing. VV doesn't really hit hard. He's not meant to be a strong hitter, but... It could be good to give him some evasion, you know? And putting them on you taught you something. Alert. Which prevents back attacks. I would love to have that, so I'll put that on. And like I said, one more game of Hot and Cold. Let's do it. Alright. This is our last round for today. Let's make it a good one. Geisho greens. I'm sure Choco was happy to find those. Choco loves them Geisho greens after all. Oh, I'm near something. Uh, where is it? Up here? Oh, it's around here. It's... Found it. Anointment. That would be great for trouble. That's a status that uh, we can get later. I don't really know what it does, but I do remember it being kind of annoying. Oh, got something. I drops. Oh, I'm here. There's another something. There's something here. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Chocobo mini games, by the way. In like any Final Fantasy game. Geisha Greens. Koopo, that's amazing. And our time stopped. I'll give you bonus time after four discoveries. I'll double the points from here on as well. I'll give you 10 extra seconds. Good luck, Koopo. All right, we got more time. More time, let's make these seconds count. Oh, found something. Echo screen. Uh, that may have been all I find, actually. I mean, I still have 10 seconds, but still. Oh, I'm near something. Ooh, is this our choco graph? <laughs> yep, another choco graph. And our big leveled up. I'm not gonna find anything else in one second. I give up there. Hey, we did pretty good. Good job, Choco. I'm proud of you. Alright, we're done in here. We'll move on with story things. I mean, I could do a whole episode there. I probably will later. <laughs> Alright, well, well, on a Chocobo, we don't have to worry about encounters. Oh, there's a gate down here. You push circle to get off Chocobo. And he'll wait. So which gate is this? Ah! Hey, this is where the Baku and the crew are. I missed out on whatever that treasure was because, uh... Oh, I got one of the coffees. I missed out on that treasure over there because uh, Baku already got it, but... I think it's impossible to get here before them. That's kind of why I was checking the gates earlier, by the way. I wanted to see if I could get that before Baku, but it looks like that's import impossible. Why did I almost say important? Wow. Alright, well, let's uh, go 
on with story things, which means we have to get to that grotto. I promised I wouldn't waste too much time doing extra stuff. And Chocobo will make the trip faster, or Choco Rare is his name, but he's still a Chocobo. Alright. Thank you, Choco. I always appreciate you. Alright, the Gwizam Luke's Grotto. Let's enter. Oh boy. No. Come on, get up. Damn it, say something. Oh man, this is not good. The Black Mages, who are they? Um. It's okay, you didn't do anything. We really don't know for ya. Divi, aren't they your... The king might be in danger. Come on! Yeah, right now Freya wasn't uh, with us when uh, we found out about the black mages uh, being produced in Dowie. Let's go! Quinna is like really unimportant to this place. She's the only with us for food. Hey, are you alright? Black mages, couldn't do anything. We're here to help. We're on our way to Bermesia. Ugh. I'm done for. Take this bell and go to Bermesia. The black mages took our bells. The king's in palace. Please protect. Ah. Hey! I'll protect him, don't worry. Alright, well, we got the bell. And this is why we need bells, to open uh, these doors. The bell in our hand reacts to the, do the bell on the door. It shatters after use, but it does open. Uh-oh. Kill. 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 Well, I mean, that did the trick. Oh, it's on a thorn. I mean, that confirms that Alexandria is behind this. Who is that? That I don't know. I know I have seen him somewhere before. Somewhere before? I have not seen him, I know. I guess it's not important. Let's kill him. Yes, kill him, shall we? Or rather, shall they? The black mages, because we're not going to be doing anything. Because we're Zorn and Thorn, you know? Alright. Hi. Alright, attack. You jump. And we'll have a little magic off with some attacking. I don't think we can eat uh, black mages. And I'm not even going to try with Quina. And black mages also should not be taken lightly. Strike. Stabby stabby with my forky. And down comes Freya. And we win. Yeah. Hey, Quinn leveled up. How about that? He savage monsters they are. Run away. Oh, I'm coming in. You can't stop me. Hello, you. Oh, bow time. I was hoping to fight the black mage, but we gotta fight something else first. Oh! I think they have enemy skill? I think? Yeah, you're trying to eat something by the way that doesn't have an enemy skill, you will successfully eat it, you'll just get like a taste bad thing. Well, there's zombies, so let's burn it. Ooh. Alright, let's attack you. No can eat until weaker. Well, I'm gonna kill one of them. Let's kill this one. 
And we'll steal from it. Stop hacking away on me! I don't appreciate being hacked on. Defend. Hey, I learned pumpkin head. Don't know what that does, but I learned it. Yay. Doop, 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 doop. Hey, I learned wizard. Nice. Good job, uh, Vivi. Kill. I was gonna change uh, Vivi's equipment since Vivi learned the uh, wizard, but eh, I guess you can be killed first. I do what the master wants, and the master wishes for death. Alright. Let's try... Oh, some my blue magic I learned. I think. Let's try... What does Pumpkinhead do? Damages with the difference between your max HP and current HP. Okay, let's do Upper Breath. And we'll attack. Missed. Missed? Huh? No, 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 you, you don't, don't, don't be giving me any of that. I love that Freya is absorbing lightning, by the way. That's pretty cool. Let's try frog drop, sure. Potion on yourself. Don't you dare die, is it on? Frog jump. Hey, froggy. Jump. Only 40 points of damage. That was pathetic. I go strike. And I hit hard. Eh. Heal Quina. We don't want Quina dying. Quina is probably like the most... Well, probably one of the weirdest... Final Fantasy characters ever created. Spear! And we win. Good job, Freya. Hey, learn antibody. Good job. We are learning stuff, guys. And I got another bell. We were told that, uh, the black mages stole the bells. Alright, I'm gonna heal Quinna first things first. And now let's change our equipment. Cause some people have learned things. Alright, you learned antibody so we can put, uh, the silver gloves on. Which is good for killing undead apparently. Which we've been seeing zombies in here so I guess we'll put that on. Don't really have much to give Vivi, which kind of sucks. I'll give you that. Antibody's always nice to have. Eh, hey, how about that though? Vivi finally has an ability that's equipable. I know I can go up there. Oh, that's probably how. And about my hand shattered. Oh, this is somewhere else. So there was another bell to do the loopy loop around. Oh, hello, I saw something. Oh, we got a battle. I saw an explanation mark. I just wasn't pushing the button. Ah, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it next time. Oh, I forgot to put Undead Cure on uh, Freya. That would have helped against these guys. Oh, well, we already ate them. We don't have to eat them again because we already learned what they have. So we'll just murderize them. Hey, you missed. Ooh. Heal yourself, Vivi. Damn. Getting death by being stabbed by a fork is quite a way to go, isn't it? Fire! I love how Freya is absorbing lightning. If only everyone else could, that would be great. Uh, there it was again. Oh boy. I was pushing the button at that time when I saw the explanation mark. Well, not exactly. I was burning and pushing the button at the same time. But I still didn't grab the thing. Oh. 
You're, you're big and tough, aren't you? Eh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see how we do. Oh man, what happened to Vivi's MP? Yikes. Entice. Oh, that's not good. Somebody's gonna be in for a world of confusion. Oh, of course it's Quina. Alright, let's see if Vivi can snap Quina out of it. Here? Oh, jeez. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Because you're gonna be healing yourself. Oh, that was a lot of health you choked back. Oh, no. Alright, let's try Lancer. Good job! Good job, Vivi. Attack. Woo! Hey, that was actually pretty good. Freya's amazing. Hey, Freya learned stuff. How about that? And so did Vivi. Learned the add status. Something I probably won't use, but it's nice to have. Alright. Alright, press circle to walk. Oh, it's so, like, spot on. I don't know if this thing is even worth it or even what it is. Oh, you again? You know what? We're not gonna be doing this, and I'll show off an ability because running away takes uh, far too long. So, we're gonna show something very cool that Zidane can do. We can use Flea, which will sacrifice some gil just to automatically get us out of battle. Bye bye! And we lost 49 gil, but that's not a big trade off. I give up. Whatever it was, hopefully it's not important. Oh, there was something there as well. I don't know, finding treasures in this place is weird. Not really that great. Oh. What did I just find? Oh, a Megas hat. That's actually good for BB. That's not a hat, this is hat. Yeah, I can learn slow, a skill I won't use that much. Actually, there's a thing in this place that using that will be helpful with. Oh, hello. Darling? Can you hear me? Darling? Please say something. I didn't expect to see a Moogle here. What's wrong? My husband, he's inside this bell. He's trapped, Koopo. You poor thing. We just had our wedding here. Then some scary clowns attacked us. I was so scared, Koopo. This spell is huge. I don't know if we can lift it. Hmm. No, please, huh? Sniff, 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 sniff. Uh, hello. Um. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, it's you. I know you. I know you. I know you. Um, 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 um. um. Hey, hey, hey! You have Koopo nut. Y yeah, I got one in Limblum. Really? 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 C can I have it? Sure! I have no use for it anyways. Koopo, thank you, thank you, thank you! Darling, darling, I have yummy Koopo nut! Oh, that'll give him the strength to lift the bell. Koopo! I love Koopo nuts! Darling, where are you going? Um, thank you. Darling! What a crazy couple. Yeah, you can say that. Ooh, yeah, the chest with you. For a bell. Well, I'm going back then. I want to see what's in that earth, or if I go around and see that Burmesian soldier. Alright, let's go around again. Oh, we got a battle. You again? I don't know 
know if I want to stay and fight you, but I guess I will. Alright, let's go... Oh, boy. Who are you confusing? Why Quina? Oh, you're confusing uh, Vivi. Oh, okay. Well, Vivi unconfused himself, so... There's that. Alright, E is a potion. Keep our little guy alive. Eat. Or attack, rather, not eat. I don't think we can eat this thing. I'm not even gonna entertain the idea of trying. Alright, let's strike the thunder on your head! Ooh! Uh-oh. I would've loved this for the boss, but... Oh, you just... You just made, made the biggest mistake of your uh, life there, little Lamia. If Freya doesn't kill you, it's a darn well. You like doing the whole slicey slicey thing, I see. Title frame. Bye bye. Told ya. Kinda overkill. I tend to kinda overdo it, you know. So, yeah, what if I use that? So yeah, what if I use that bell instead over here? I don't want to use that middle door though because I think I will soft lock myself because I won't have any more bells to proceed any further. Poison protection is needed. It's always nice to have. Oh, there's something here. Hey, a bronze vest! That's actually a Zidane thing, so I'll put that on. Joey! Which, actually, Joey, I will want to put on. Because Joey is protection against the Petrify. I guess we'll take Bandit off then. There we go. And I want to see you take this bell. Thank you. So yeah, I came up there for the vest, really. And like I said, using this spell on a Melodor will be a mistake. So I'm not going to be doing that. You know, I know this game pays homage to previous Final Fantasy games. But it didn't have to pay homage to the ridiculously high encounter rate. That's like, like, that's something that 7 and 8 got right. Anyways, we have a choice between uh, which door to open. I guess we'll do this one. Oh, I can't. Okay, I guess I don't use the bell on that one. Oh, I... Don't I get a special bell for that one? Right, okay, so I have to go through... Really? Encounter! Anyways, I'm cutting out a lot of these uh, battles. That's because most of them, especially this thing, I'm running away from now because it's not really worth my time and I forgot the heals the dawn, I just noticed. Great! Alright, ring a ring the doorbell. I wonder how those Moogles got through this, uh, door without, uh, without having a bell, you know? They just sort of ran through, no problem. And speaking of them, there they are. I love Koopo Nuts. Do you like Koopo Nuts? Yeah! I like you. Thank you. Thanks again! Now we can go on our honeymoon. Alright, Magnet. A letter from Mudon. It's probably a letter of congratulations on our marriage. Let's read it. This year's festival of the hunt was so exciting, Koopo. Wow, shame. They didn't even mention your wedding. I'm sorry. The highest score was 119 points. A woman named Freya won the title. Last year's winner, Belna, got only got 78 points. Oh, it was so much fun. It wasn't a congratulations letter, but it was fun to read, Koopo. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, you want mail? I want to use a tent. Obviously, a lot of damage was taken. I am going to save. Thank you. 
and I'm not going to exactly end this episode yet because there's one thing I want to show off because this is the part where the game gets a little bit, uh, well, it doesn't get a little tricky, but it can throw you a little bit here. Like, you know, the Mugos are here. You think you have to go up here, right? But, as you're told, it's dangerous out here. So, you go up here. And it takes you outside uh, on the world map, obviously, once it loads up. I'm talking faster than the game can load. So, yeah, you're taken up here. You're up on the world map again. You're up on uh, this cliff. There ain't really anything up here, I'm going to say once again. Because I don't know if I saved inside, and I don't want to do everything again just to be on the safe side. Okay, I saved inside. Don't worry about it. But you run around up here. You realize there's nothing up here. And you'll get thrown into a battle. And here's the thing about the encounters up on this cliff side. Everything will overpower you. You will get destroyed. You're not strong enough to be here. Don't you dare uh, leave that cave. Yeah. That's uh, what you got to look forward to. I'll see if I can get away. But yeah, you really stand no chance here. I mean, we were, we were warned, you know. <laughs> so yeah, don't, don't, don't come up here. Just don't do it, okay? And the stronger the enemy, the more gill you drop uh, when you run away. Anyways, I'm not going to say that. I just wanted to show that off. But I am going to end this, this episode here. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me and come back to Final Fantasy IX. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.